Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aishram Malyala. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you the schedule for Josai 2023. So I'm going to explain the schedule a bit so that you'll also understand uh, the whole process crisp and clearly. So after watching this video till the end, okay? So I already made a video where I've given you the overview of Josa counseling and uh, a bit about CSAB counseling. If you still didn't watch that video, you please go, th go there and watch that video. And after watching these two videos, I'm sure you will be crystal clear with the whole process of josa counseling okay so without taking much time let's get into the video and if you're someone who is watching me for the first time so please do subscribe and share this particular channel to all your friends who are going to participate josa counseling a series of videos are being planned for all the students planning to attend josa and cacb counseling so good set of videos on your way if you want to watch them just click on subscribe and uh, click on notification uh, bell icon so that you will not miss out any notifications uh, for regarding the videos which i post on this channel so let's go so see guys i am here at the schedule of events josa 2023 from the josa business tools for 2023 year so it's an online reporting again so june 18th uh, you are going to get the je advanced 2023 results and from june 19th so as i expected as i said on a short video so on june 19th 10 am the josa counseling uh, registration will start so registration whenever you register so you have to register on www josa.nic.in portal so regarding the registration and choice filling i will be release a video tomorrow please wait for that video so once after registering there so they will ask you to during registration they will ask you to check all your details whether everything is right or not and they'll ask you to verify your state of eligibility so once again i'm saying the state where you completed your class 12 is your state of eligibility and the nit in that particular state will have will give you the home state quota not the state where you born okay of course if your born state and class 12 completed state is same in that case the same nit in that state will give you home state quota okay if there is a difference in the bond state and come class class 12 completed state so you have to please be cautious while submitting the details okay so like uh, academic pro choice filling will start how to fill the choices i'll make a separate video tomorrow and candidates who qualify architecture aptitude exam aat can fill their aat specific choices starting from june 24 after declaration of aat results so aat results will be coming from june 24 so till then the josa portal you can register on the josa portal but you will not be able to fill the aat related choices the architecture related choices so once those results are out you can uh, if you qualify you will be allowed to fill those choices also so june 25 uh, sunday uh, so there will be there will be like mock seat allot allocation one so i said right in that video so based on whatever choices you filled before june 24th 8 pm in the night so those choices they will take into consideration and according to your rank according to your filled choices so they will take into consideration and they will allot your seat so after allotting your seat what you have to do you'll, you can still uh, edit the options after getting the allotment so you'll get allotment at 11 30 on sunday june 25th after getting that if you feel that somehow some good choices are missing below so you have to keep them above because once a seat is allotted in josa for example you have filled five choices you got third choice fourth and fifth will be of no use in the further rounds if you want to keep float or slide whatever is there it should be of above that's why so that's why after getting mock one allotment if you feel some best options are missing out below you have to keep them up that's all that's how it is okay so if at all you did any mistake also that will you will get to know it in the mock seat allotment one and june 27 tuesday 10 a.m mock seat allotment 2 second allotment so whatever choices you have till 26 june 5 p.m so it is 24 june 5, 8 p.m it is now for mock allotment to 26 june 5 p.m they will allot a mock allotment 2 on 27th 10 a.m okay so candidates can lock their choices from now on so i do i suggest don't lock your choices on your own so if you want to change something at the end you will not be able to change so till the last second also if you want to have the chance of editing your choices you need not to lock the C or choices will be locked automatically after 28th june 5 p.m see auto or system locking of choices if you do it before it will be locked you can't edit if you do don't do it also automatically after the deadline crossed which is 5 pm of 28 june the choices will be locked you need not to worry okay 29th so the reconciliation of data verification and validation of allocated seats so they will check everything and on 30 so this is the round one schedule so on 30 you will get allotment seat allotment 1 10 am friday first round allotment 32 july 4th so you have to pay fee so 40000 should be paid by general ews obc and cell students uh, and 20000 for scst pwd in that 4000 josa will be taking and remaining amount they'll transfer to the college where you're joining uh, at the end of all rounds okay document upload what are all the documents class 10 mark sheet 12th mark sheet 
स्टेट ऑफ एलिजिबिलिटी प्रूफ सेम एज क्लास ट्वेल्व अगेन मेडिकल सर्टिफिकेट कैटेगरी सर्टिफिकेट इफ नीडेड एंड दे वेन यू पे द फी दे विल आस्क यू फॉर फ्रंट पेज ऑफ पासबुक और द चेक कैंसल चेक इधर यू कैन गिव इट यूअर्स इफ यू हैव बैंक अकाउंट इफ यू नॉट यू कैन गिव इट ऑफ योर पेरेंट्स रेस्पॉन्स बाई कैंडेड टू क्वेरी इफ आफ्टर अपलोडिंग सम डॉक्यूमेंट्स देर इज ए मिस्टेक दे विल गिव ए क्वेरी प्लीज चेंज दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग दिस इज ए मिस्टेक प्लीज गिव अस दिस कैंड ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट दे लास्ट दैट यू हैव टू चेंज इट बिफोर फाइव पी एम ऑफ जुलाई फिफ्थ इफ यू डोंट डू दिस यू विल बी आउट अगेन ओके सो इफ यू डू दिस बिफोर फाइव पी एम ऑफ जुलाई फिफ्थ यू विल बी इन टू कंसिडरेशन सो ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम ओनली यू हैव टू सबमिट इफ यू गॉट सीट डेवलपमेंट फ्रीज फ्लोट स्लाइड इफ यू आर हैप्पी फ्रीज हैप्पी लाइक यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू पार्टिसिपेट मोर यू वॉन्ट टू जस्ट सिक्यूर दैट सीट फ्रीज इफ यू वॉन्ट बेटर ऑप्शन लाइक सेफ गार्डिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर सीट फ्लोट If you want same campus, better option, safeguarding this particular seat, whatever you got, you have to pay fee, you have to click on slide. So in the next round, if there is a possibility of same campus above options, they will allot. If not, whatever seat you got, it will be there with you. Only if you pay the fees, only if you upload documents, only if you responds to candidate to query. Okay. So this is round one. So like this, round two will be there. Uh, so again, that will be on July sixth. Round two allotments, the same process. It will repeat, uh, like same process. It will repeat. So Tuesday, uh, like last day to response, that is July eleventh. Okay, under the round two. Here there is one more option: initiation of withdrawal of seat or exit from seat allocation process. Round two. So if you want to exit from the seat, I don't want this seat. I do. I just want to leave this everything. So exit from seat allocation. You didn't got any allotment. You want to exit. Either that you got some seat. you want to withdraw it i don't want that seat i will go out of the council whatever you want to do you can do it from july 7th to july 13th It's under the round after the round to go, like even if you got seat in round 1 or round 2 if you want to withdraw you can do it from july 7th only okay so once you withdraw like withdrawal query response will be there so there is a one format uh, which uh, this year jos have given i will show you that format wait if you want to exit or withdraw from allot withdraw of allotted seat or exit from jos counseling you have to fill these details uh, in this particular page get the, keep all the required signatures of parent and yours and upload the upload there in the josa portal so see withdrawal query response when you give that withdrawal request they will say whether it is accepted or not so once if they say it is accepted whatever if you paid some amount that amount you will get back if if they say there is some mistake they'll ask you to reupload it once again so they'll check that they'll give you withdrawal query response by during july 7th to july 11th 5 pm okay so again round 3 allotment will be on july 12th 5 pm so same process again for whatever round 2 you did or round 1 you did if you got newly allotted you have to pay fee document upload keep freeze float slide and all if you already got in previous rounds round 1 or round 2 so you have to wait uh, if you got the seat best seat possible in round 3 that option is changed whatever you got other than round 2 and round 1 then you can accept it if you want or else if you still want to wait you can wait until the next round for the rounds so this is round 3 so round 5 you will get allotment on july 16th uh, 5 pm and round 5 will be allotted on july 21st friday 5 pm after getting round 5 allotment this is going to be a crucial step for all those who are aiming for iits july 21st to july 25th okay july 21st to july 25th so 5 pm b- before july 25th 5 pm this is the last round for seat withdrawal or exit option only for iits because after 6th 6th round is the last for iits there is no csab or special rounds so that is the reason they don't want iit seats to be left over after getting allotted if you withdraw after 6 rounds that seat will be of no use if you leave it before in 6th round they would have allotted it to someone right so that is the reason this is the last round for you to withdraw your id seat if you do it later you will not get the refund so that keep that in the mind okay so round 6 allotment will be on 26 july 8 pm so you will get a final round of uh, allocation for iits so of course for nit display system final round will be csab and all but as of josa this is final round for everyone and for iits it's the end so the, there is no more admission process for iits so Jul- july 26 to july 28 again online reporting fee payment if you got newly allotted fee payment document upload response by candidate to query all this thing if you already uploaded or uh, like got seat uh, earlier itself after 6th round you will not have any options like freeze float slide all the seats if you got some allotment it will be freezed after 6th round okay so that deadline is 28 july 8 pm so now last day to respond to query final round for uh, seat allocation for uh, iits okay if there, there is some mistake you have to respond to that query now this this is important for only nit plus system from july 26 to july 28 if you want to withdraw your seat you can withdraw 
before july 28th 5 pm only if you do it later you will not get the refund so this is a good thing if you want to after after six rounds if you feel that i don't want to join nid this year i will again write exam once again so if you want your money back whatever you paid as a seat acceptance fee which you save it till the last six rounds so you can initiate the withdrawals of seat round 6 july 26 to july 27 5 pm and uh, withdrawal query if there is a mistake they will raise a query you have to sort it out before 28th july 5 pm so this is the dead end for in order to get the refund if you want to cancel your seat okay so and uh, for nit play system you have to pay for iids they will just go to their website iid website they'll check whatever the process is there they have to complete it but for nit students as you have csab one more special round counseling so if you want to attend it or not so you have to pay first parcel admission fee in order to safeguard whatever seat you have till six rounds so if you don't pay partial admission fee whatever seat you have will be cancelled again and the money which you paid also will not get back until and unless you only have give the withdrawal request that's it if you want to get the refund before 27th 5 pm you have to keep a withdrawal request only in that case you will get the refund if you paid seat acceptance fee but missed out paying partial admission fee you will be out of counseling your seat will be cancelled your money will be lost so before some deadline the deadline is july 31st 5 pm you have to pay partial admission fee so after july 31st once whoever didn't pay pfe their seats will be cancelled so they will take a three to four days to one week time and again they'll start csab counseling so after july 31st so mostly it will be in the august so if possible we'll try to make some videos related to csab also this is about the schedule so pwd students whoever uh, is under pwd category you have to go for a physical verification so you have to at least have 40 percent disability in that physical verification they'll check everything they will give you uh, the percentage of disability you have if you don't have above 40 percent you will be not considered as pwd student so uh, that's about uh, the schedule of uh, josa 2023 i hope you got a clear-cut idea on what i have talked on this particular thing uh, 